Hey, today I'm talking about the new Marvel Disney Plus TV movie, Werewolf by Night. So this is a Marvel Cinematic Universe piece of content. It's just a made for TV movie. So it technically counts. I've covered other TV movies before, so Yes, it is short, but technically my bottom limit is what the Academy Awards Best Picture limit is, and that's 40 minutes. And this sits at 52 minutes, so it counts. Okay, so the basic premise is this is like a Halloween special. And so Elsa Bloodstone's father has passed away, but she has been estranged from her father. And so the Bloodstone needs to get passed on to someone. And because she's been estranged, it's not going to go to her. So instead they have a competition, a little, little battle royale type competition where they have to kill this beast and pull the Bloodstone out of its back. And whoever does that gets I actually have read not this specific comic, but I have read a decent number of Bloodstone. Elsa Bloodstone comics. There she is. Look at that. So cool. So I was actually pretty hyped for this movie. This was actually pretty good. I actually, I enjoyed this a good solid amount. The style of the movie is definitely like the big takeaway. It's, it's filmed like a 1930s campy horror film and it's, it's beautifully done. They, they really nailed that aesthetic and vibe. The story moved at a nice solid pace. The action was good. The effects were really good. Both the werewolf looked great, but then also the big scary monster that's in this. His effects look really, really good. And I just had a good solid time with it. I do have two complaints though. The first one has to do with Elsa. I mean, I am annoyed that she's not the main character, but that's fine. But it's more so, she doesn't have red hair. Like in every single comic I've seen her in, she has very bright red hair. Very bright red hair. Very bright red hair. Very bright red hair. Red red hair. Like. Why doesn't she have very bright red hair here too? I guess like I don't know her entire history, but it's annoying because it's, she has it, whatever. Maybe she's just dying it black because she's in an emo phase, but I can look past it. It's fine, it's whatever. The other one is more my big gripe because this movie has so much style. It's a big callback love letter to like those 30 horror movies and it's missing one key element in that and that it should have been filmed on film. It looks, uh, it doesn't look quite right because it doesn't have the right grain to it. Like it needs the veracity of actual film. It would have looked pretty. It was bothering me for like half of the movie until I got kind of distracted by all of the really good action. So yeah, I enjoyed this good solid amount. It's good solid spooky Halloween fun time. I would definitely recommend it. I went in with kind of low expectations but high hopes and I think it was a good solid time. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 38 in the quite like section. And this is out of a total of 56 new movies so far this year.